I'm swimming around Burj Al Arab. Woo! What's going on, swim fans? I'm here in Dubai, and we are about to do some epic open water swims and pool swims. Activated vlogger style. We're about to swim around the Burj Al Arab. Woo! The Burj Al Arab is the world's only seven-star hotel situated on a man-made island in Dubai. The sail-shaped hotel is known for its iconic design, world-class luxury, and it's home to the tallest grand atrium in the world. Most people know Dubai as the international travel destination, home to palm tree-shaped islands, the Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world, and too many other iconic landmarks to count. But between all the skyscrapers, palm trees, and exotic cars, the Burj Al Arab is arguably the most iconic hotel in the world. Not only is it iconic, but some insane things have happened here, specifically on the hotel's helipad. David Coulthard did donuts in a Formula One racing car on the hotel's helicopter pad. Roger Federer played a tennis match with Novak Djokovic, and Tiger Woods teed off over the golf. It opened in 1999 at a construction cost of $1 billion. The entrance is lined with rare marble, and there's 1,790 square meters of 24 karat gold leaf that embellishes the interior. The Burj Al Arab sits on its own private island that's connected to the mainland by a bridge, and it can only be accessed by a fleet of Rolls Royces. When I came to Dubai, I knew I had to swim around this iconic structure. So I synced up with Swim Tribe Dubai, and we set a date to swim around the Burj Al Arab at sunrise. We started the open water swim from the beach about 1.5 kilometers away because the shoreline immediately next to the hotel is private beachfront owned by the Jumeirah Group. We gathered at sunrise, I started an open water swim on the My Swim Pro app, and we were off. While swimming, it was easy to sight where we were going because we were swimming towards an iconic landmark that can be seen from over 10 kilometers away. The water was relatively calm, and the Arabian Gulf is known for occasionally having monster swells that make open water swimming far too difficult, but luckily for us, the water was just right. As we approached the Burj Al Arab, it just kept getting bigger and bigger. The structure is absolutely incredible and the view from within the water at sunrise is spectacular. This is a view that most of the world will never see. You can see it from space, you can see the hotel from almost all of Dubai's shoreline, but to see the Burj Al Arab from within the water is something else entirely. I'm swimming around Burj Al Arab, Woo! As we swam around the hotel, we took a quick pit stop to soak in the view. We were mesmerized by what we were looking at. You'll be able to look up and you're going to pinch yourself like, man, where am I actually? This is incredible. Uh, it's a one of a kind culture. If you look at the, the ocean that we have when it comes to the open water side of things, for some parts of the year, it's definitely the most ideal location in the world. You've got water temperatures that are between 22 and 24 degrees. You've got iconic landmarks like this beautiful building behind us, Burj Al Arab, and a huge community of open water swimmers, be it for triathlons or just for the love of swimming. As we approached the shoreline, I was so happy I got to experience one of my bucket list items. In total, the swim from the beach around the Burj Al Arab and back to shore was just over three kilometers. I tracked the swim on my Apple Watch with the My Swim Pro app, and it's a map that looks so cool, it almost doesn't even look real. How was the swim? Amazing. <laughs> what do you, do you recommend it for someone? Definitely, if, uh, if you're a good swimmer or comfortable in open water. No, really, that was amazing. I, I was asleep when we got here, and now I'm awake, but I'm about to go back to sleep <laughs> um, for multiple hours. But it was good fun, it was good fun. Now that's one of the beauties of being in Dubai. You just it's so multinational. You every day you're just meeting people from all over the world. I myself I'm from South Africa and you just you're meeting people from all over the world and every day that you're here. You just get exposed to so many different people and that's the beauty of it. Swimming and the passion for swimming brings everyone together. It just it's that one common denominator. It doesn't matter where you're from, the love of the water, bringing people together and just enjoying your time. So we're about to do an open water swim with Swim Tribe Dubai. Let's get it. Woo! While I was in Dubai, I did a few other open water swims on different beaches and I joined Huna Aquatics for an epic adventure in a water park right next to the Burj Al Arab. Uh, it's called the Wild Wadi Lazy River Swim. 
So the concept of it was that in the summer it gets really hot in the desert, you can't do open water swims. So we thought what better way than to use the lazy river in a water park where the water is temperature controlled. And this is the last swim of the year basically, just topping it off. One lap, 350 meters. Going with it, it feels about 50. Going yeah. against it, you'll say it feels like a kilometer. I think you've swum it. You can almost oh, yeah. speak about how, how it feels. Well, so exactly. It yeah. Three and a half minutes. Three and a half minutes for roughly four, 400 meters. You want to transfer that into a long course? Swimming around the Wild Wadi Lazy River was just a beautiful experience. It really is paradise, and swimming with the current certainly doesn't hurt. We got about 20 kids enjoying this swim this morning as well. So we're trying to nurture them from a young age. If you look at the facilities and the locations that we have, it's the opportunities that you get when you are here. Be it as a young person, Dubai will have an opportunity for you. When it comes to our adults, most of them are working long hours every single day, but when they get to the pool in the evening, it's that one hour where they can break away from everything, be part of a group, a social group, and not have to worry about work. So if you are looking for something special, I would say Dubai is a, a great opportunity for anyone and everyone. Swimming and the passion for swimming brings everyone together again. Be it in the pool, in this lazy river, in the ocean, learning to swim, it's just it's that one common denominator. It doesn't matter where you're from, the love of the water, bringing people together and just enjoying your time. That wraps up our time in Dubai. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and share. Subscribe if you wanna see more swimming adventures around the world and how you too can take your own swimming to the next level. The My Swim Pro app helps swimmers of all levels with a personalized swim training plan that has individual swim workouts, videos, technique instruction, and a global community to help you reach for your goals. Until the next video, happy swimming. What's going on, swim fans? I'm in Abu Dhabi at the FINA World Championships, the 25 meter facility behind me. They actually built this pool in less than two weeks. They filled in all the water and it transformed the Etihad Arena here in Abu Dhabi. It's absolutely amazing. Let's begin. The United Arab Emirates is home to the most iconic buildings and venues in the world. The Etihad Arena is no different. Built on Yas Island Waterfront District, the total site's cost was 3 billion US dollars. Alongside the swimming action in the arena, FINA hosted the first ever water carnival sports in Yas Bay with high diving and brand new open water swimming mixed relay events. The indoor pool was constructed by Martha Pools and featured a 10 lane competition pool with an additional warm up pool for athletes to prep for their races. Behind the scenes, there's a media lounge, PCR testing, and a place for athletes to stretch out and relax. In total, there were over 900 athletes from 183 countries competing. Four world records were broken and millions of dollars in prize money was awarded to athletes. Let us know in the comments what you think of the venue and where you're joining us from around the world. I hope you enjoyed this tour and I'll see you at the next video. Happy swimming!